Hey everyone, Todd here from ToolboxBuzz.com and HomeConstructionImprovement.com. Today I'm going to be running some really cool tests I wanted to uh, share with you. Um, there's this huge um, excitement in the industry right now about the new brushless um, cordless tools that are coming out. So here's two of them 18 volt drill drivers, one from Milwaukee, one from Makita. Um, we're going to put them to a test. We're going to see how runtime um, is, uh, you know, the comparison between runtime of both tools using a couple different drill bits. Uh, full di disclosure here, Milwaukee asked us to do this test. Um, they did send us this drill and the Makita drill. Uh, both drills are brand new, haven't been run at all. I haven't even squeezed the trigger. Just opened the packaging. Both uh, containers came in the original packaging, were completely sealed. Uh, you can see here I've got. Brand new drill bits, completely sealed, one for each. They're brand new. They happen to both be Milwaukee, but um, shouldn't really matter. They're both brand new. They're both sharp. I have brand new batteries. We're going to stick them on the charger. We're going to make sure both of them are completely charged. And we're going to run some tests. We're going to use these one-inch uh, auger bits in some 4x4 four four Douglas fir posts. See how many uh, holes each of them can drill. And then we're going to use these larger uh, 2 and 9 16 um, hole, hole saws and uh, we'll run that through some traditional uh, spruce pine fir uh, dimensional lumber that's pretty popular here in the Northeast. And we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see how this new brushless technology uh, stacks up on these two tools. Their specifications are slightly different, uh, you know, in speeds and torques and whatnot. We'll, we'll share that with you. Um, but we want to see how these two perform and uh, we'll share those results with you so stay tuned I just want to give you a little heads up on how we're going to be running this test show you it's all brand new equipment um, new drills all that kind of stuff so we should have a pretty good apples to apples heads up competition on two particular uh, drilling tasks uh, you could probably do a hundred variations of this uh, with different kinds of drill bits and you probably get different results one uh, would probably do better than the other in certain situations. What I'm really trying to show you here is, first of all, how great both of these tools are probably going to perform. Uh, the technology with brushless motors is amazing. And secondly, how important it is to do your homework and look at the specifications on these tools and, and really kind of pick out a tool that will help you do your job more efficiently um, and help you make more money. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's really kind of the key with these power tools. So. Um, Hang with us here, and uh, I think you'll find this a pretty cool test. Okay, first up is going to be Makita's new brushless 18 volt uh, drill driver. We've got the brand new one inch auger bit in here. We've got a fully charged, brand new battery, never been used. Trigger hasn't even been squeezed yet. I've got the drill set on drill. I've got it on its highest torque, and I have it on speed too. Both drills have two speeds. We're going to do them both on high speed and high torque, at least for this test, and we'll see what happens. So let's get going. speed so let's try it on low speed and we'll see what happens with that. Okay, there's hole one. I guess we'll modify the test. We'll do both on slow speed. Again we're still on high torque. And I'm just going to keep drilling away and see what happens, see how far we can get with this bad boy. There you go, folks. The Makita's tapped out, so we're in a 4x4 four four, uh, Douglas fir beam. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Almost 35 holes. Uh, there are two holes in here that only went halfway. They hit a big knot. The uh, Milwaukee's going to hit the same thing because they come across. So we'll see that. So 
basically uh, you're looking at approximately a little over 34 holes completely drilled through. It's a one inch um, auger bit. It's a selfie bit so <clears throat> when I'm running this drill I'm using minimal weight on top. I'm letting the tool and the bit do its thing. Uh, I'm trying to keep as you know uniform pressure as I can so I can manipulate the same thing with the uh, Milwaukee. So we'll try that next. <clears throat> um, with the self-feed bits, every one of them has been reversed out, so I'll do the same exact um, setup with that one, and we'll see how they compare uh, for this test. So, so far we got a big bucket of uh, chips here from Douglas Fir, and we'll get going on in Milwaukee. Okay, now it's time to test uh, Milwaukee's new brushless drill, 18 volt. Um, just to remind you, we got the same setup. So we got the one inch self-feed auger bit, um, brand new, right out of the box. Um, not the same bit we used with Makita. Brand new battery, fully charged, never been used before. Brand new drill, first time using it. So we should have a real good heads-to-head -head, uh, competition here with Makita and the Milwaukee. We're going to be drilling on number one speed just like Makita, and we'll do full torque just like Makita. I've got it on the drilling mode, so we should be really kind of apples to apples, and uh, let's see kind of how we stack up, shall we? So here we go. through and then I'm backing them out. I did the same thing with Makita. I'm doing the same with this. So I'll just keep on drilling and uh, we'll see how this all pans out in just a few minutes. There you go folks. The Milwaukee just gave up too and it's probably halfway through so from Milwaukee, we've got, <coughs> I started one from the end because it had a little split. <coughs> I want to keep things fair, so we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39 and a half. And if memory serves me right, we had about 34, 35 in here. So Milwaukee beat it out slightly, um, not by a lot. Yeah, you know, it's probably uh, just about 10 to 15 percent, I suppose. You know, on a long day, that could probably add up. But I think it was a pretty fair fight uh, for the two. And um, so that's first round one. Next round, I'm going to try a little bit different bit, a bigger two and nine sixteenths uh, self feed. Whole, whole saw, see how they work out with that, and uh, we'll see how we fare. So I'm going to back this bit out of here if I can, and uh, we'll get to the next test after. It just tapped down on its last hole. Um, you know, we're down at the end of this board, so we're gonna we're gonna switch up to the Milwaukee now. Nikita did this last hole's almost through, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, eight, twenty nine, thirty, almost thirty one holes with the Makita. Next up is Milwaukee. Okay folks, we're continuing on with the head-to-head uh, -head competition between the Makita in the Milwaukee brushless 18 volt hammer drills. We just ran a set of holes with Makita. Uh, did almost 31 2 and 9 16 diameter holes with a brand new switchblade um, large self auger bit. Something you know a plumber might use in uh, framing you know roughing in for you know with the traditional KD framing. We've got some uh, spruce pine fir uh, 2 by material that we're drilling the holes and now we're going to take the Milwaukee put it through the same test. Low speed again, both drills are on low speed and highest torque setting. So 
let's get going. We'll see how uh, this stacks up to the Makita. Just tied up with Makita. This thing's got a lot more juice left, so I'm out of this uh, 2x8 that we've been using. So I'm going to take the remainder of the 4x4 Douglas fir from the previous test with the 1 inch auger bits, set that up. We'll see if we can't finish this off and really show how much more juice this has got compared to our previous uh, tool. So let me just reset. As I said, the uh, Milwaukee's still got some juice left in it, so we're going to really uh, put it to the test now if I can hold on to this bad boy and uh, drill through this 4x4. Douglas fur and see how much juice is left in it. So let's get going. We got three holes through this four by four. Very impressive. This is not an easy hole to drill. Uh, I think we can probably get one more out of it. So let's see what happens. No, oh, that's it. So here you go. We've got classic battle here: Makita, Milwaukee. Both brushless hammer drills. Uh, I think you've seen that we put these things through a heck of a test here in the shop. Just a real quick summary about our test here that we did today, um, you know, over the last few days here in the shop. Uh, the folks at Milwaukee asked us to test, do a head to head test with two comparable um, cordless brushless 18 volt hammer drills that are on the market today. There's really only two um, on the market right this minute. Um, Spec-wise, they're, they're slightly different, and I'll go over those details kind of in, in depth in my full review. But, you know, basically what I wanted to do is a quick word and tell you what this means for you, um, what does it mean for your job, and uh, when you go to the store and you're looking at this new stuff, you know, what, what should you be looking for? The bottom line is both of these tools uh, did an exceptional job and actually are proving that it's time to cut the cord. You know, these tools have so much power, so much runtime, that even electricians and plumbers who are, who are doing large diameter uh, aggressive holes for, for rough end purposes can really take advantage of cordless now and, and get rid of that big old whole hog that's uh, been tripping you up, pulling that cord around the job site. Uh, next to that, you know, the, the Milwaukee. It's, it's faster, it has higher RPMs at both speeds, and it also has a lot more torque. So, you know, two might say that there wasn't a fair fight. Um, the real deal is they both cost about the same amount in the store right now. Uh, I'll post some pricing, current pricing. Um, they both obviously obvi offer the, the brushless technology. They both have an 18 volt, 3 amp hour um, battery. They both offer some some cool features like uh, LED lights, um, torque control, drill mode, uh, hammer mode, um, you know, fastening mode. You know, the, these are great tools. They both come with uh, a battery charger and a case. And so when you when you're looking at these in the store, a lot of things are going to come to play. Uh, current battery platforms obviously will be a big big key. Um, and then you'll want to look at the specs. Like I said, the Milwaukee was quite a bit faster. And actually had more torque, seemed to outperform the Makita in the limiting testing we did. So for today, I'm going to give uh, Milwaukee's cordless, brushless, 18 volt drill drive, uh, hammer drill, uh, the win in this this test. Again, it's a limited test. Obviously, there's probably some other parameters we could test that that might favor the Makita. But for this test, this is the winner. 
Um, great value when you compare the price of two, the, uh, both products and uh, it's certainly a, a cordless drill that should be on the list of a lot of contractors, especially you uh, electricians, plumbers, guys that are doing heavy duty roughing that have been relying on a bigger uh, drill in the past. You're really going to want to check this out. I'm Todd from ToolboxBuzz.com. I'll see you at the next review.